Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. In today's episode, we have nearly 10,000 migrants that are headed to the U.S.-Mexico border, making it the largest caravan ever. And folks, these are old numbers. We'll have a clip from Fox News that's talking about upwards of 15,000 migrants heading to the U.S.-Mexico border. This stuff is nuts, folks. As always, if you want to join us here at the Bald Brad Show or heck, support a conservative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, as you can see, this comes from Blaze TV and also Fox News. And they say here, a migrant caravan numbered at nearly 10,000 people, possibly the largest ever, departed from the Mexico-Guatemala border Monday and is headed to the United States. <laughs> folks, folks. This president, a year and a half into his presidency, is still breaking records. I mean, we've talked about it at nauseum on his monthly record breaking of having over 200,000 illegal immigrants crossing into the border every single month. And that doesn't even include the ones that aren't apprehended. And then we talked about the yearly numbers as well of him breaking records. And now he's breaking records in terms of caravans. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? But we're supposed to listen to this guy about common sense gun reform. Give me a freaking break, man. <laughs> it's just this guy has crisis after crisis after crisis, record after record after record being broken. And we're supposed to listen to this guy as if he's speaking coherently, as if he has a clue on what's going on. It's been a year and a half and he still hasn't figured it out. And he's only making matters worse. The same thing with the uh, oil production and gas prices. It's only getting worse. And it's been getting worse since he's freaking been in office. We've seen the graph from Ted Cruz. Okay, we've seen all the stuff he's pushing out. So he's not just solving any problems. He's only making literally everything worse. But at the same time, having Jen Psaki go on the podium or Kareem Jean-Pierre or himself, somebody's going out there from his administration lying to us every single week. And then we get these numbers and we're not even supposed to believe that they're real. <laughs> what the hell, you guys? Well, help me with this to understand any of this insanity from the president. The caravan left Tapachula on Monday and currently has about 9,500 migrants, mostly from Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua. It is predicted to add several thousand more people before it reaches the southern border by a coastal route, according to Fox News. So again, it's only getting worse. I believe it's up to about 15,000 at the present time. One of the caravan members, check this out, and we have a clip on this, so I'll read it and then we're going to show the clip. A Haitian migrant, so it's not even a legal resident of the United States, told Fox News they expect President Joe Biden to keep his campaign promises and permit them to seek asylum in the United States. Talking as if the man belongs here. Look, if you have the paperwork and you can get in, great. Become a U.S. citizen legally, but not illegally. Just come to expect us to let you in all free willy-nilly. He promised the Haitian community he will help them, the migrant said. He will recall Title 42. He will help us have real asylum. Well, let's go to the clip here from Fox News that talks a little bit about what's going on with the caravan as well as interviewing this Haitian migrant. The largest ever migrant caravan gathering in Mexico could be headed towards the United States as early as today. And the group is reportedly expected to swell to 15,000 people by the time it reaches our southern border. Unbelievable. Texas Public Policy Foundation Executive Director Robert Henneke has prosecuted immigration cases and is the former Assistant Attorney General of Texas, and he joins us now. Robert, what should the Biden administration be doing right now to get Mexico to stop facilitating this caravan? Well, Todd Carley, thank you for having me. The Biden administration should start off first by re-implementing the Trump immigration policies that were successful in securing the border at the end of the Trump administration by disincentivizing this illegal migration. But look, Biden needs to get tough against the Mexican government that's co complicit in cooperating with the cartels to really f facilitate these growing migrant caravans, the latest one being 15,000 persons coming from Tapachula, uh, that it's heading straight for the United States. Biden administration needs to tell them to stop and go back. Well, here is one migrant who is sending a message to President Biden. Listen here. He promised the, Amer uh, the Asian community he will help them. He will uh, call Title 42. He will help us having real asylum. But now we need him to keep his promise. So you, know, you have the Biden administration saying that their policies aren't causing a surge in illegal immigration. I'm sure that that message from the Haitian uh, migrant doesn't surprise you. He's saying, listen, we're all coming here because President Biden promised that he would help us. 
Well, the, the announcements from the wow. Biden administration have been uh, tourism advertisements to these migrants. You saw how well informed that person was on an issue that I represented 54 members of Congress in the lawsuit opposing the cancellation of Title, title 42. But every time that the Biden administration, the White House, announces these open border policies, it is seen as an invitation to the cartels, to these migrant car caravans, to double their efforts to come illegally into the United States, and it needs to be stopped and shut down. Finally, gas prices. So then they get into gas prices here on Fox News, which we don't know to hear about because we've already heard enough about Biden and him not wanting to increase domestic oil production and all sorts of things going on with that. But it says here, you have the caravan's organizer gave more details to Fox News on the size and progress of the caravan. Quote, we consider we are around 9,500 at measures. By the way, who's feeding all these people? That's my question. Where's all this stuff coming from? But I digress. It measures 51 kilometers from the start to the end. People keep on joining. In the first police check, there were approximately 100 to 150 National Guard, state police, and let us through freely. Hey, come on in. <laughs> Make your way through, folks. The border's this way. You'll see signs. There'll be stops for you all to make sure you're well fed and get hydrated. We'll take care of you. A federal judge may prevent the Biden administration from rescinding the public health order known as Title 42, a pandemic policy that requires migrants seeking asylum to the United States to wait outside the country for processing. Title 42 also grants immigrant immigration enforcement extra authority to deport migrants that enter the country illegally. But again, it's not just Title 42. It's the whole PR from the Biden administration not being strong on this, as well as removing Trump's policies that stop this type of behavior from happening. You've heard it from migrant after migrant that have come across the border, or at least are being held at the border as well, being interviewed by, by different stations, said they came because Joe Biden said they can come in. Hell, they were literally wearing Joe Biden shirts at one point, like caravans of this. So you're telling me that, that you have the president saying, well, I'm not letting them come in, I'm telling them not to come in, but then your, your press secretary is saying the same thing, the next press secretary is saying the same thing, but then you have the Haitian immigrants themselves are literally saying we're coming because of you. Bunch of hubbub, it's hocus pocus, it's a bunch of crap coming from the Biden administration. I know we're, we're all used to it, but it still needs to be said, folks, because this is wild. I mean, again, try to just fathom that you have somebody that was the best person of a party, meaning the Democrat party. This is the front runner. This is the person, the best person on the bench from the Democrat party they could put forward. And look at everything that's going around. The Democrat party doesn't have crap to run on, but that's why they're gonna push this whole gun thing, right? It's amazing how that's on the news every single day now, which by the way, there's been shootings every single weekend in Los Angeles, Chicago, New York. But now all of a sudden when the poll numbers are down, they got nothing to run on because the economy's crap, inflation's crap, you got the baby formula, you got immigration, you got gas prices, you know, you have terrible supply chain. You got Afghanistan crisis that's going on with the Taliban taking over that whole place. Then you also got the Russia, Ukraine invasion going on. You got increase in, in, in food prices, all sorts of craziness. It's it's just funny how the narrative is constantly switching because the, the media is rubbing the, the shoulders of Joe Biden, his, his gross feet, and trying to figure out whatever's going to land and stick to help this guy's poll numbers out. Unbelievable stuff. But you got the Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. You know, the same guy who's like, oh, I'll tell you about the magnets, Brett. I'll tell you about the magnet. It's the drug cartel that's doing all of it. If you haven't seen that clip, go over and watch it. It's absolutely astonishing. There's a reason why I'm doing an impression of this knucklehead. Has reportedly stated his department will continue to enforce Title 42 and has warned migrants not to make the dangerous journey to the United States because that's worked out so well. <laughs> How about getting the president out there to the border? It's been a year and a half. The dude still hasn't visited. The guy doesn't know what the hell's going on. He'll visit everywhere else, but he's not going to visit the border, you know, where there's an actual problem. The restrictions at our southwest border have not changed. Single adults and families encountered will continue to be expelled where appropriate under Title 42, and those who are unable to establish a legal basis to remain will be removed. By the way, that's like 99% of the people coming in the border don't have a legal basis to remain, but not all of them are being removed. Actually, some of them are being let into the country. I should say them. A lot are being let into the country and just let loose there. They're given cell phones, other, other paperwork to make sure that they come back, but they're not coming back. Though Mayorkas insists immigration laws are still being enforced, President Joe Biden has sought to undo many of his predecessor Donald Trump's strict immigration policies. <laughs> Just what a sentence. Let me reread this. Though Mayorkas insists immigration laws are still being enforced, 
<laughs> but then it says, President Joe Biden has sought to undo many of his president predecessor Donald Trump's strict immigration policies. <laughs> Holy crap. It's no different than everything President Joe Biden says. Oh, I'm doing everything I can to fix gas prices, oil production, while at the same time removing leases, while at the same time going, I'm not going to increase domestic oil production. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable, man. It's it's the greatest time to live if you're into politics. It's also the worst time to be alive if you're into politics. Oh, my God. Upon assuming office, Biden canceled construction of a wall. We've all seen pictures of flyovers of just literally the wall components just laying there in the desert of the southern border. Prioritize immigration enforcement against known criminals and terrorists instead of all illegal immigrants reinstated catch and release policies and work to end Title 42. Basically, Biden has done everything he possibly can to only only make the, the problem worse, only to exaggerate the immigration that's happening in the U.S.-Mexico border. Can you can you just fathom the amount of stress that the Border Patrol agents and DHS must have at the U.S.-Mexico border, just customs in general? It has to be a bleep storm down there, folks. It has to be bad. But hey, you know what? Joe Biden says he cares, guys. He's losing sleep over this. He cares about all the stuff that's going on, right? But again, I know I'm repeating myself. Jen Psaki called this a challenge. I'd be curious to see what Karine Jean-Pierre calls this, because at what point does this turn into a crisis? Again, I did a clip on, on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure you go over there and add me also on Instagram and all the social media stuff. Because sometimes I'll take clips from, from the show and I'll add them on there and I'll add a little bit more to what was said. But Russia, I believe, invaded Ukraine with 120,000 soldiers. Okay. We have over 200,000 illegal immigrants coming into the United States every single month. Okay. So invasion, right? Russia invasion. I understand there's weapons and all this stuff people want to add and, and use. Okay. I get that. You have an invasion of 120,000 people in Russia, Ukraine. You have 200,000 plus people every single month. Okay, come in the United States. And that's the only ones apprehended. That doesn't include the MS-13 gang members. That doesn't include drug cartels. That doesn't include the fentanyl coming across. That doesn't include weapons coming across, cocaine. So look, there are weapons. There are violent people coming across. Even if you were to use a tiny, tiny percent of single digits, you're talking thousands of people coming across the border that are that are not good people that, you know, want to cut off your head, use your skull as a soup bowl, you know, wear your teeth as a necklace type of stuff. But, hey, they're all good people coming across the border, according to Democrats, according to Joe Biden. No reason for national security here, folks. Let's focus on the alien stuff, you know, according to Marco Rubio and other Republicans. And mind you, I'm into like that alien stuff. I'm into that supernatural. That's why we do Supernatural Saturdays. Be sure to check those videos out if you haven't already. But without that shameless plug, I'm into the supernatural but it's interesting how they're taking alien stuff as national security threats, but they're not taking the unknown stuff of the people pouring across the border when we've already have apprehended numerous terrorists that were on the no-fly list at the U.S.-Mexico border. But we're not going to solve the issue by at least stopping it, you know, vetting these people before they come in. They want asylum papers. Let's do it in their own country. Don't just let them in and then figure it out later. All sorts of craziness, folks. I've done this type of stuff at ad nauseum. And what's interesting is supposedly this is the number one issue according to Americans. I don't know, folks. I don't know because I'm not hearing a lot coming from Americans regarding this illegal immigration. If you do care about this, can you leave me a comment down below? If you made it to the end of this video, if you're one of the loyalists to the Bob Brad show, for love of God, leave me something down below on what you really think about this whole immigration issue because it feels like nobody cares. Okay? And I'm laughing because for the love of God, man, can I get some support here on other people going like, hey, this is crazy. This is nuts. More people should be talking about this and they aren't. And, you know, with that being said, folks, thank you so much for the love you always show me. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family. And, folks, I will see you tomorrow with more crazy news from the Biden administration on The Ball Bradshaw.